Exemplo feito um grupo de homens do Fago lo na ilha de Fundilé entra no bonde mas subscribe na ba follow a ilha Bolile guys welcome back to another video guys you guys thought I would let you go into exams without giving you something is Kaftina um pago so that you are prepared. Kalo, we are part of the Dambizo family now. We take care of each other. So guys, this is exactly what the video today is about. It is about a few words and a few things that I'm going to tell you to do that can help during this period your exam prep. Please, my favorite, if you're going to watch this video, I need people who still believe that if they are doing bad, they can still do good. Their marks can still improve. They still stand a chance because this is going to build up your fighting spirit. Guys, please enjoy this video. Man, it's about nine. So, my friend, our starting point for this video is to understand the difference between motivation and discipline. The reason why this is important is that I want you to step into this exam prep mode with the understanding yet discipline rather than motivation. So, if you're talking about motivation, you guys probably did physics, some of you. You have learned about something called activation energy, which is the minimum amount of energy required to do what? To start a reaction. We do not maintain a reaction with activation energy. What am I saying? Motivation is like activation energy. It just gets you started. But you need something stronger to get you going. You get me? So again, we we'll eat discipline in an apple. Club part of getting you going. Otherwise, if you use motivation to get you going, you're gonna keep starting and crashing and starting and crashing and starting and crashing. Keep coming back to people's videos to come watch graduation videos, to come watch something to just inspire you to start, but you won't be able to maintain in discipline. What then forms um, diesel in discipline? It discipline is formed by continuous habits that are not dependent on how you feel, that are not dependent on emotions, that are not dependent on whether you want to or don't want to do something. So it disciplines the habits or zenza intentionally, right? Regardless of how you feel, regardless of whether or not you just have to do it. So it habits are have to be immune to your feeling on the day. Even if you feel down, even if you feel up, you're gonna do this, right? Even if you want to do it or you don't want to do it and you feel tired, you have to do this. So you want to build those kind of habits going into the exam season young child because those are the kind of habits that ensure your success because when you start your habits they start off very difficult but then you get to enjoy them then they become second nature so that is exactly what i want you to have when you're going into this exam season i'm struggling to form these habits that you're talking about guys i did a live recently on tiktok and this other lady came on the live and she said something very important about our abilities. Oh, it is not that we are unable to do things, right? Because our minds are able. But Tina, what we do is that we, are, we enable our able minds to believe that they are unable to do. Oh, it enable your mind so that you are able to do what you want to do. What that means is that your mind is a machine that takes whatever you give it and makes it a reality. If you're going to come to me and say, Damn, this, I can't. I can't. You've already concluded for your mind and your mind is going to take that I can't and make it a reality for you. If you come to them, I want to and I believe that I can. Your mind is going to, your Dongdo wants to do this. I need to find a way. And your mind will take that want and that desire, that ability and make it a reality for you. Be careful, guys, of what you speak into reality. Be careful of what you think in your mind. If you disable yourself or you enable your mind to disable itself, then you're going to struggle. Buffett, let us start. Let us start. Let us start. So, Buffett, the most important thing now in exam prep, it is the process of identification and correction of e-learning gaps. Now, the problem with learning gaps is that they're not that obvious. You don't just look at a topic and feel like, I don't know it or I know it. You need to prove it to yourself through practicing past papers for each and every subject, including allow, including languages, to identify a good Yeah, man, for this type of question, I keep getting all zero. I keep getting less than 50% yeah, marks as allocated to that topic. It means that this is my learning gap. Then you start filling the learning gaps with knowledge. You go back to the textbook. 
ne? to fill in those learning gaps with knowledge, you do activities at textbook, well, to try and see but how far am I with understanding this topic? We are born, then you keep filling. You start then with the smaller topics that you understand a little bit, then you make sure that you got those marks. Then after that, you move now to the bigger topics. Yeah, when like, we're like, we're like, we're functions. Yeah, when analytical and Euclidean geometry. Those are big, big topics. Then if that is your learning gap, it means that you have a lot of work to do. But if you algebra, you've already collected more financial methods of probability, you'll feel more confident going into these major topics. But do not fool yourself and be like, oh, yeah, but you don't have evidence of you getting good marks in past papers. That is literally playing yourself and fooling yourself and being surprised in the final exam. So do the past papers and identify. In the more practical sense now, guys, what is important is to have a countdown calendar. A countdown calendar holds you accountable. It reminds you that you do not have all the time in the world. you are procrastinated. It reminds you, yeah, Baba, we're left with 15 days. Yeah, Baba, we're left with 10 days. Yeah, Baba, we're left with 5 days. Yeah, Baba, exams are tomorrow. So a countdown calendar is basically literally a calendar that you write, but this is day one, day one of the month, and you just keep scratching each and every day. Yeah, one and right, but there's how many days left. That's literally a countdown calendar. That helped me a lot in understanding. But when people were playing around me, I knew, but I do not have time. 20 days is not a lot of time. Considering the fact that I'll be doing other things during these days, it just doesn't make sense to me to be playing around during this time. So do yourself a, a countdown calendar until the first day of your exam, Miyako, starts. So Bafetu, now we are well within the planning process. You have your countdown calendar. Now what I need from you is a schedule. Detailed schedule ne? that will account for each and every day of this calendar until the exam starts. If the countdown calendar says I'm left with 15 days, my schedule must believe that I'm left with 10 days. All the work that I need to complete, I must put it in clear 10 days and try to squeeze it in, fit it in and push myself each and every day. Ne? At the end of the day, you review what you have done for the day. And see, Uba, is my schedule really realistic? Am I completing the tasks that I set out for myself? Am I working slower? Do I need to increase the pace? So that you adapt your schedule accordingly. A schedule is a mere blocking of time, babies. For example, I block the time from 8 a.m. until 12 p.m. During that time, that's the time where I will be doing past papers. I block the time from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Because that time I will be filling in my knowledge gaps. Young John, you're just blocking time. But the day before, I plan the day ahead. But, oh, I completed this. If I scratch it out, it's done. I completed this. Then for tomorrow, then I can add this. Or oh, this one I didn't complete today, so I'm pushing it to tomorrow. But it means that I need to add an extra hour so that I complete all the tasks that were set for tomorrow. Does that make sense? I'm sure it makes sense. So, my friend, have that calendar yako yeah countdown, but now have a daily schedule that you update. And even realistic, guys, please. Do not overestimate what you can potentially achieve. Rather, you underestimate what you can achieve and you've accommodated all the tasks that you need to do. But at the same time, you keep completing them, keep completing them and you're moving at a steady pace. Then you'll have five days, four days, three days to spare where you can just push past papers as full past papers now. For those who don't know, I made a video again, uh, telling you about how to do past papers. What is the etiquette? What is the best way to go about it? So don't feel like you're left out. Just go watch that video. If you were that person who was going to be like, Dam Diesel, hey, Dam Diesel, please, man, I'm struggling with this discipline thing you're talking about, these habits. What helps is having a strong team to work with that is going to continuously push you. That is exactly what I did when I was in matric. My teacher invited me to stay at her house. We are born. Her children were going to this other uh, Model C school. It was college. My other college at Kabeha. They know college. I think also Los in Brown. I don't know what other school, but these were these girls that just were so serious and were studying, but they just needed assistance maybe with discipline and mathematics and physics. My teacher was like, "Guys, come live in my house." We are going to bring a friend. I brought Upopa, my friend. We lived in my teacher's house. She had an extra bedroom that we stayed there in Chanam. Then what she used to do is that she used to ask us to do a daily schedule. We are more, so that she knows how we block our times. So that she does not super us in those times. And what she used to do, she used to drive us to Macro so that we can pick study snacks. Boxes of study snacks came off. It was so nice. So 
we got all these study snacks during these block times my teacher would not even bother us would tell everyone not to bother us we're chowing course going at it just just people are serious man are doing past papers hey guys we we're beasts ne? and all of us now are in university because it was such a strong study group during the exam period we're still there pushing grinding coming back from the exam knowing exactly what we're gonna do it was absolutely amazing so that is what i would say try to find for yourself a group of individuals about to go ride or die and you guys are gonna struggle together you guys are gonna push together you guys are gonna do past papers you guys are gonna hold each other accountable you guys are not gonna lie to each other and be like oh you're doing well knowing exactly oh good this person is not serious and be ruthless when it comes to selecting people Ne? align with people with the same brand because at the end of the day buffet your friends are not gonna cut it if they're not serious and they're not gonna uplift you buffet so be ruthless with who you choose and make sure that you stick by them until the exam schedule is over another thing that i forgot to mention about the schedules buffet, which is quite important actually is that you create schedules also into the exam period because now you have the timetable is already out into the exam period if you have two days in between exams Create a schedule in preparation for the next exam. This is when I'm going to start studying. Blocking times, still blocking times. I'm going to do this past paper. During the exam period, you do not study the textbook. You don't do that. During the exam period, you only do past papers. Only do past papers. For each and every such a beat, LO, beat languages, you practice past papers. You mark yourself according to your past papers so that you are familiar with the mark allocation. Young child, and you answer and you do your past papers Angela, that I taught you how to do them and you'll excel, I promise you. So that's what you need to do with that schedule. Another thing about it that is quite important during this time, your teachers, and I don't know, it differs in different schools, but they are trying so hard to do revision classes. I would say attend these a hundred percent. Put it as a revision class in your schedule and block it. Put it as a time block and know but during this time I'm attending revision class. Then go to the revision class as prepared as you can be. Know what you're going to revise on that day. Go there with questions. Go to learn. Go to solidify information. Come back and do past papers and practice that information. So attend all revision classes ne, that you can attend at school. Don't be lazy and be like, I can do this on my own. I can study. No! Those teachers have experience. Especially if your teacher is very good at whatever they teach. Go there. Unless you are absolutely not learning at all, then you'd rather be doing it on your own. That's when you just stay home yeah, and chow course on your own. But otherwise, go to all those revision sessions and learn and be as productive as you can be. Guys, must say vale, vale, mfane, vale, mfane. But before you vale, mfane, I would like to say something to you. You good guys, remember this is crunch time. Ne? This is the time where you can make decisions that you can either be proud of for your entire life or regret. If you disable your mind and believe what you don't stand a chance, and omit yourself from this opportunity to see you. But if I give myself 100%, what can I get out of this? You might regret it. And you'll end up pointing fingers. No, I blame the teacher. I blame that subject was hard. No, I blame the home situation. They never gave me an environment to study. You'll always play the blame game. But what is sad is that all of that will always boil down because it affects you. It boils back down to you. It affects your life. It delays your own progress. So listen to them, Diesel. Give yourself an opportunity. Fight, Tim Fundi. Fight. Buffet, thank you so much, Manny, for joining me on this video. Buffet, I'm going to keep releasing. I'm going to keep releasing. We're pushing, Buffet. We're not going to back down. We're going to push you guys. We're going to stick with you guys during this exam period. Even next year, guys, we're going to be continuing with the future grade 12s. Spa Cooper, Spa News, Spa Motivator, Spa Nigga, the right understanding. Telling them what to do. So, Buffet, thank you so much for joining me. Please do not forget. To say something, another one, dumb deals, and dumb deals will give you another one. Those are good. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you're the first to know when dumb deals releases a new video. And give a video niche share this video. Because remember, what do we do here? We climb that ladder, hold it there for someone else because there's enough room for all of us at the top.